Hello, this is Brayden on Brayden's Drawing Show. Before I start the drawing, please subscribe and click the notification bell. And you will see more videos coming up. Today we're going to learn how to draw a ferret. So, I'm going to be doing five pets for this. So you're going to make a U, a pretty broad U. And then make like a half circle at the back of his head for his ears. So now you're going to make a line heading straight down. And then here you're going to make a curve. And that's going to, you're going to cut off this tip. And it's going to go down like this into his ribs. All right. So we're just going through the basic shapes right here, because you're probably thinking, I mean, this isn't very detailed at all. This is not like a ferret or anything, but this is going to be a ferret. So you're going to go down to another curve, and then do a curve for the toes, and then go up and make a little elbow for it. Now, you're going to make the spine go in kind of a straight, go slip down further, go into a straight line. If you hear noises in the background, that's our dog, Cheshire and Sheldon. Really cute. Uh, and then you're going to head straight downwards from that curve and then curve up. And barely hit that and then go into a pointy tip. And then go up around under there and then start with, he needs a little bit of muscle in his legs, so yeah, and then put a curve there, and then do it like that, and make a slant downwards. See, you don't want to make his feet too thin. Remembering that ferrets are a very thin, skinny, small animal, you don't want to make them too thick, but you also don't want to make them too thin, because remember, they are also very furry and now you're going to make white along his chest and then erase that little leg mark there and then now as you can see we need to draw this back leg there and then whoops I went a bit in the other legs line so these are just going to be little mistakes you might make but as you can see, this is your ferret, but it's not entirely done. So you're going to have to draw his back ear right there, and you're going to have to add some detail to him. So as you can see, we're going to erase this line, still leaving, not erase it too badly. But you're going to want to have that line there. Then you're going to make little curves like fur along his tail. And then you're going to make a bigger outline around this tail. And it's going to get bigger at the tip because that's going to be more like a tuft of fur there. Now you're going to go up there like that. And then so now you're going to color him. I'm not going to color him in this video. So as you can see, this little ferret right here, you finished his tail. Now, now that you finished his tail, you want his tail to almost run up into his spine in the back of his neck. Okay, so as you can see, you're going to want to have some shadow between the legs when you work on the legs. So, we're going to work on the head later, not right now. I'm going to show you the legs now. Because you're going to need to make a bit of shadow on them. Right there, like that. Now, you're going to want to maybe erase that leg, but there's going to be a bit of shadow there, as you can see. But you're going to have to make some fur along the back side of his leg here, 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 here. And you're going to want to add the little claws. Not too long because ferrets are really small.
and then you've got little claws there. You're going to make the legs not too thick, as I said earlier, but not too thin. So now you're going to want to do his back legs. Now you're going to add a bit more of that shadow to the front legs. Because you're going to want to make shadow on him. So now you want to work on his belly. Ferrets are very slim, keep that in mind. But they can range in a lot of different colors. So mine you can add a chest like this that has a white chest and then a gray body with a mask. That's what I'm going to do, but they also can be plain white. So, you, you can delete this line if it's going to be a plain white ferret. And you're going to want to go like there. And then, now that we've got that there, you're going to want to spruce up his face a little bit. You're going to want to maybe edit this top part of the U because his eyes, you're going to have to be able to see his eyes and where his eyes go down into his nose. So it turns out we don't need that bottom part very well, but that was just a structure for his face. Now you can see You can do whatever you want with your ferret, with the ferret right here, and like you can make him holding like a little ball in his mouth or something. Uh, that's not what I'm going to do right here, but I'm going to work on the mask right here. But again, most ferrets, well not most ferrets, most ferrets have a mask, but some don't. So here's going to be the eye and the mask. They kind of look like little raccoons, except they aren't as mischievous as times. Well, raccoons aren't that bad, but really, like, they're almost like little dogs, these guys are. So you want to make him look playful and happy. But see, you don't want to make his nose too big like that. You're just going to want to make an itty-bitty nose. Now you're going to make a mouth like that, and then you're going to add a few little whiskers. And then, so, you're going to add some shadow on the back of there. And you don't want to make, you want to have, one of the details that I never forget on animals is the insides of their ears. You're kind of going to want to have that there, because, yeah. And ferrets can hear very well and everything. So at the end, I share a little thing about each animal that I'm doing. And so uh, one of the important things is that ferrets really, you can just get their musk glands removed, but they really don't stink that bad and they're really wonderful pets. So now you can make the ground a bit. Then maybe I'm gonna add like a little plant here. And then I'm going to add maybe like a hole here. And you're going to shade in the hole to make it brown if you want to do a hole like this. And again, you don't have to do any scenery. And I'm going to maybe put a little toy ball there. Make it whatever type of ball you want. And so this is a ferret. And now I'm going to go on to drawing a dog. In the next episode.